Ten years ago, the great financial crisis of 2008 was stirring. However, memories are short. The crisis seems so yesterday. Anyway, today the stock market is high, interest rates are low, as is unemployment. Many younger people just weren't that conscious of the gravity of the financial crisis. Therefore, I keep asking, what have we learned in the subsequent 10 years? Let me offer three things. First, financial crises have long tails, both before and after. They build up slowly and then hit with the force of a hurricane. And the wreckage they leave behind requires years of recovery. The long tails of a financial crisis make it hard to forecast these events and hard to gain closure. Second, financial crises will recur. I have no crystal ball and can't tell you when or where the next crisis will appear. But I'm confident that a big crisis will appear within the lifetime of today's younger generations. Like it or not, our economic system has vulnerabilities that are difficult to mitigate. I doubt that we have the will to eliminate them all. To do so would be quite costly to investors and taxpayers, impose a degree of surveillance that we might not like, and it would increase financially risky behavior. Finally, don't be surprised by the next crisis. Be ready. Save for the rainy day. The personal saving rate in the U.S. today is now just 3.1% of income, barely above the all-time low that occurred just before the financial crisis of 2008. Invest in your own human capital. Learn something new that can make you more valuable to your employer and or help you find the next job. Build a strong social network of people you can turn to for help if your circumstances change. And practice civic virtue. Speak up for the wise use of resources in your company, your community, your government, and your home. Mark Twain said, history doesn't repeat itself, it rhymes. If we pause to reflect at the 10th anniversary of the financial crisis of 2008, perhaps we can learn more of the rhymes in order to delay and mitigate future crises.